So the next mechanic I tried to learn was the ceiling shot musty flick. And who better to learn it from than the guy that can score this crazy, crazy goal. I mean, it's absolutely insane. I mean, we're not going to learn this today. What we're going to learn today is the ceiling shot musty flick. But just remember, this is the best goal I've ever seen. But there's two things I learned about the way he goes for ceiling shot musty flicks that make it so easy for him to perform this. And we're going to go through that today, along with all the other steps that make it so easy to perform this shot. I can't tell you how easy it is after following those steps. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you learn it very, very quickly. So let's get right into it. So this is the training pack we'll be using throughout the tutorial, the code's right there if you'd like to download it. There are four shots in this training pack, two from quite far back and two from the midfield. I think these are the perfect distances for musty flicks because they allow you to react to, you know, double touches and anything a lot easier from these distances. Any closer it gets a bit harder. But yeah, I hope you guys find this tutorial and training pack useful and let's get right into step number one. So step number one is getting the ball towards the wall. So there are two different types of shots in this training pack, there's one from the midfield and one from further back. What you have to remember about the one from further back is that you have to hit everything with more power. So getting the ball towards a wall needs more power and hitting the ball from the wall needs more power. So the reason for this is just because it is a further shot so it just needs more power for when you perform the musty or whatever you want to do from a distance you will just need more momentum on the ball to get you there. Especially in a game scenario where you don't have much boost. But one thing that is very similar between the two shots is that when I go for the approach, I always do a little break. The reason for this is I want to create a distance between me and the ball, meaning I'm not going to speed into the ball and hit it into the ceiling. If I create that distance, I've got a bit more control on what I'm doing and I'm able to hit the ball just where I want it. But more of that in the next section, how to hit the ball from the wall. So step number two incorporates everything we need to know about getting the ball from the wall. So you'll notice on the approach for the further back shot, I hit it from a more side on area of the ball. The reason for this is because I'm going to hit this ball harder so we will get to the ceiling as well as get a long distance down the field. So if you notice the midfield shot, we are a lot more under the ball. The reason for this is that we don't need the distance but we do want a little bit of height on the ball from a light touch to get it towards the ceiling to perform a really good musty flick. So this will take a lot of practice and repetition to actually get this down very well, this touch and to get it nice to the ceiling and the distance correct. But the best advice I can give is on the further back shot, remember wider angle on approach and more power on the hit off the ball. And for the midfield shot, you want less power on the hit and get more under the ball. That should hold you in good stead to perform this shot with ease. Step 3 is all about getting your car to the ceiling and in the perfect position to perform the musty flick. After you take that touch off the wall, you want to jump and boost towards the ceiling. Then depending if you're on the left or the right wall, you want to air roll and lean back. If you're on the left wall, you want to air roll to the right and lean back. If you're on the right wall, you want to air roll to the left and lean back. This should allow all four wheels to touch the ceiling, which will give you that reset to perform the musty flick. So step number four is the first of those two important tips that I talked about at the beginning of the video that make this shot so easy to perform. And that is wrapping around the ball. Now the reason I think this works so well is because it allows you to get into a position where you are facing the goal. There are a couple of reasons why this is important, but one of the reasons is that if you are facing the goal, it's a lot easier to actually score the goal. And also if you go for a double touch, it's gonna to be in a region which is a lot easier to read than if you hit it off to the side. Another reason why I think it works so well is because the ball is already moving across you and wrapping around it means that the ball will nestle perfectly into your musty flick if you do it right. So it's very important to wrap around the ball. It works so, so well. And let's get into step number five, which is the second of those two most important tips that will make you perform the shot super easily. So step number five is the second of those two most important tips that makes this shot so easy to perform. So all you have to do is once you've landed on the ceiling, you have to right side up your car using arrow left or arrow right. It really doesn't matter which. Once you've done that, you want to touch the ball on the bottom third of it with the underside of the top of the car. Then rotate 180 degrees and backflip. That's all you have to do and you will always get the musty flick. 
Once you guys try it, I'm sure you'll get it down super, super quickly. I got it down really quickly once I saw Henkovic doing it. I tried it once and it works so well. And I assume a lot of you will already know how to do the ceiling shot part. The first three steps are really there for the absolute beginners that really didn't know how to do any of this. So hopefully you can also skip those parts pretty quickly. But if you can't, no problem. It shouldn't be too hard to, to get the hang off. But yeah, main parts, get round the ball, wrap around the ball. Step four, really important. When you land on the ceiling, make sure you're still trying to get wrapped around the ball. When you land on the ceiling, rotate your car, touch the ball, and the bottom third of the ball, rotate 180 degrees and backflip, and you will always get a good musty flick. Now I'm gonna leave you with some clips I did just to show you how I actually do it. And if you've got any problems, you may wanna look back at some clips. So I'm gonna leave some of them in. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And hope you learned this really, really quickly.